Okay, welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at our iGame service and our simple game service in the code window here. So we're going to add our namespace and we're going to create a public interface iGame service. And we're going to do two things here. One is void connect to a string host and an int port. And we're going to also have void start server on an int port. And uh, if you notice that neither of these have return types, and that's because a service is, uh, for this case, I mean, it's, it's clearly a multiplayer game service, and that means it's going to be asynchronous in its methods. So what's going to happen is that uh, something else injects the iGame service, including what could be the start app command. Uh, and I'll show you in a second how we do that. But um, we inject the interface, which gives us this instance, and then this method is a way to trigger it to send along the um, operation across the network. And then because it has to wait for the response time, you don't want to hold your thread, your main Unity thread waiting for the response. You want it to send the method to connect with the parameters. And then you listen on the event bus for a return event. And we're going to actually create that in the same script as the iGame service. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to do it this way. and I think we'll call this game service. We could call it service event. I think it's a little shorter. Um, you could also call it game service event. Anyways, when I'm using strange interfaces uh, that are services, I like to create a, my own enumeration in the same script as the interface. And the reason for that is because on the strange event bus, you can actually listen to a number of different types of enumeration. So it doesn't convert these into integers. Like it's not saying, oh, the event zero or the event one has uh, happened. It's binding uh, in the context. It's binding to that specific enumeration. So we can say command binder bind to the service event connected to some command. And even if they have the same number, they're going to be sent to different commands or the event dispatcher will recognize that they're different events. So there's no real reason for us to n ever want to create all of our events under the same enumeration, like separate them. So you might have a UI event, you might have a game action event, you might have a service event. You could separate them all and listen to them separately on the same event bus. And I think it's really nice. Anyways, uh, our first event, these are like the returns from the outgoing call. So we call connect and then we're going to get a connected response. And then we're going to call start server and we we might get a server started response. Or you know, if you want to make this a little more um, what's the what's the right word? You know, just have a, a a similar way of doing it for all of them. You could say start server response and just add the word response to all of your methods on your service. Okay, so we've created our events in our interface, and now I'm gonna show you how we might inject this. So that's what we've all been waiting for, and that's what Strange is really all about. So what we do is we say inject, and we say public i game service service get and set. So you need to create it as a, as a public property and some people do have a problem with that. Um, a lot of people don't like Strange for the reason that you have to break encapsulation and offer your services as, um, as, a, public, um, in, as a public property. And there's definitely reasons uh, to be unhappy with that, but overall I think the benefits so far for me, the benefits of like simplifying my application by doing this override um, the downsides to doing this. So um, in our start app we're going to pretend that this is a server. So let's say it's a game of Halo or you know a game of Counter-Strike and we want to create um, a server that starts itself and then gives the server player its own player to control. So we're going to make this on port um, 6900 and we're going to send the service the start server command. Oops. A 
but now we have to work on our simple game service. Keep getting caps lock on. Which we'll have to inherit from the iGame service interface. And it'll have three me two methods public void connect to a string host import. And a public void start server on a import. Good. Okay. So we're just going to send ourselves another debug message saying starting server. Now let's see if we actually successfully got our got our injection as a singleton and um, injected the correct instance of this into the start app. There we go, start app, starting server. That's great. So everything's going good so far. And um, that's basically the gist of um, how you do a strange context. So for the, I'm going to pause the video here and for the next video I think I will start to work on the bolt um, side of things and I'll show you a bit about bolt states and um, bolt commands. So until then, bye.